。遊びテック。Hey there, uh, it's Quang DX from、uh, Sobe Tech. Yeah.、Um, yeah, I'm going to do an unboxing. Got a couple boxes here from Japan、uh, through the、uh, company Rinkia. So, Rinkia do、um, imports、uh, from Japan, let you buy stuff on things like Yahoo Japanese auctions and other things like that.、Um, these stuff. Uh, these two boxes were actually ordered way back in、um, July 2017. But I've been crazy busy, so these haven't been unboxed. And I almost forgotten what's in these boxes, it was such a long time ago.、Um, yeah, so, a、um, good friend of mine,、uh, Nicholas、uh, Thurgood, you're out there.、Um, He runs Gamer Disco, amongst other things.、Um, has been bugging me to open these boxes since July, pretty much.、Um, but yeah, just kind of been really busy with Mao Mao Castle and things like that. So I thought、um, now is a good time as any to open these up. Let's open these up. Does anyone want to take a guess at what's in these boxes?、Uh, they're quite big, they're not small.、Um, they're one thing together. Um, rather separate. Actually, there may be a few small pieces in them as well, but they were one、uh, shipment. And、um, yeah, so it's Japanese, it's retro gaming, obviously, because that's kind of what I do.、Uh, shall we get them open? <laughs> my plushies. Yeah, my, my plushies don't actually come from Japan,、uh, they come from a supplier、uh, in China. Um, and these would be a lot of mamma plushies. I don't know how many you would get in a box this big, but that's way too many.、Um, yes, Jim,、um, consoles, but why would I need more than one box? Oh, oven's ready. Making a cake.、Uh, it's Lewis's birthday, so they're making a cake for Lewis. Okay, so yeah, let's get this going. What do you reckon? Small box first, or slightly bigger box first? Two piece arcade machine.、Uh, if only.、Um, I don't think it would be this small, but I think it would be a bit bigger than that. It's good, good, good guess, good guess. X68000. Oh, Mike, it's a good guess, it's a good guess. But、uh, maybe, maybe not.、Uh, definitely Japanese. Alright,、um, I was actually going to buy one of these originally, but because of, again, Nicholas, he kind of. Yeah. I ended up buying this as an、uh, impulse buy. And as an impulse buy, here they are. And I never, I said I never opened them since July last year.、Um, so it's taken a while. But let's open this up. Yeah, so small box, big box.、Uh, uh, Taiko Drum Master. No, no Taiko Drums. These aren't Taiko Drums. <laughs> yeah.、Um, my housemate, Jupiter, she would love them to be trying Taiko Drums. But again. I think Taco Drums, for me, Taco Drums isn't really worth playing unless it's the arcade machine. The little plastic drums you get with consoles aren't that great. But、uh, yeah, let's open the box up. I'm gonna go with the slightly smaller box first, you reckon? Yeah, let's do this one first.、Um, so, the thing about Rinka is they make their boxes custom to fit whatever they're shipping, which means it's always a hassle trying to get in them because I don't know where to start. Cutting because、um, where I cut it never to be is the wrong side, and the labeling isn't an indication of which way up this should be.、Um, crap. Oh, okay, let's give this a try. Cut down this tape. So, what is it about unboxings that people like? I don't know.、Um, there's tons of channels out there that do these unboxing things, and people seem to really enjoy this.、Um, I know my nephew watches the ones with the eggs and he loves watching、uh, them unopen those Kinder eggs or the toy eggs and things like that. Which is, I don't know, Easter on, I guess.、Uh, it's something to watch Unboxing Theory. It's quite a fun channel to watch.、Uh, the guy who runs that, he's always really, always really excited about whatever he's opening. 
so yeah, for those of you joining us, this is me opening a box that's come from Japan, um, which was shipped out to me back in um, back in uh, July last year. So that's long overdue me opening this. Opening this. So the other problem with of all this stuff from Rinkia is they package it really, really well, and by very, really well. Uh, it's packing peanuts. I hate these things. They get everywhere. And I don't know what to do with them afterwards. Um, is this the right box? Or do I want the other one first? Let's see what this looks like. Oh, so one of the things I ordered uh, was a Game Boy. Game Boy Vance. So this is a limited edition. Well, I don't know if it's limited edition, it's, it's, but this is the Toys R Us uh, version. Which is a we call it a midnight blue. It's a transparent midnight blue, and um, I've been after this one quite a while. Uh, a little while back, Gray got one from Ramon uh, Martin, and I was a little annoyed because I really want this because I have the GB color, Game color to match this in the same colorway. So that was a bit frustrating, but um, I finally cut one down for a reasonable price because yeah. These some reason are uh, getting crazy money. You can see that. Alright, move that over there. So that's a 20th anniversary, well, 10th anniversary, sorry. 10th anniversary Game Boy Color Toys R Us edition in Japan. And a midnight blue, so it's a lovely translucent blue. I'll, op I'll open it later if you guys want to see that in the flesh. Because um, it's a lovely color. Yeah, there you can see that. Is that focus? But yeah, I'm happy to get that in my collection. Awesome. Alright, that's one of the things, uh, but isn't the main thing. Um, let's see what we got over here. Oh, we also got a Game Boy Color game. So, uh, Sam, how many things are in there? Uh, there's one main thing and a few other small things which I actually forgot what I ordered. Um, this was ordered way back in uh, July last year, so I've actually forgotten what's in this package. It's just been sitting there waiting for me to open because I've been kind of busy with things you may have noticed running around with Mau Mau and things like that. Um, so this is uh, a 2D fighter for the game of color. Uh, it's based on the Transformers Beast Wars franchise. Um, I wanted to get this because I quite enjoy playing this. Uh, apparently the poor wireless connection got cut off. Anyway, um, okay, let's try that. Hopefully that's picked up again. But yeah, this is Game of Color. This is a two-player game. On a Super Game Boy, you can play this. On one Super Game Boy, two and two, and it's a beautiful game. Uh, it, it's really smooth gameplay, um, really nice characters, and it's Transformers. Well, Japanese Transformers. So I'm a big fan of that. And wonderful. That was, again, something hard to get hold of. Alright. Again, packing peanuts everywhere, packing peanuts everywhere. Uh, so we the big boxes out now. Oh, I'm gonna so there's a couple of little small things. Oh, another game again. Uh, Gal Gal and Galaxians on the game color. I just realized I've got this twice. I've just checked my my uh, I've just checked uh, my collection recently, and I've bought this twice. So I now have two of these because I'm collecting sh Japanese shmups for Game Boy. And this is one of them, which I again I already own. Stupid coin. Actually, no. Wait a minute. I think that's a different one. Let me be right back. I'll be right back. It's the same game, so I now have two of these here. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll have to sell one. Oh, well, that's smart. Uh, put this over here. Deal with this later. All right. All right. Is that all for the extra little bits? Uh, let's look at the main event, shall we? And some discs. Um, so that's some paperwork and discs for the thing. I'm not going to show you that. I'm going to hide that away. Um, uh, here we are. Oh, uh, it's kind of a mess. I'll fix it later. So this is one part of it. Oh, it's really heavy. It's 
quite heavy. Um, I know what this is. This is one part of it. I'll I'm gonna open this later. I'm gonna put this in the main box first. I'll come back to that. And the main box, this one. I'm just gonna have to yank it out because yeah, it's gonna make a mess. Okay. Ugh. Damn you packing peanuts. I appreciate Rinka's packed everything well. And um, I think I've only had trouble with them once. But I think that was FedEx's fault uh, and damage. I'll check this. Oh, come on. So, you may or may not know when I collect stuff, I try to get everything boxed. So, getting one of these boxed is quite difficult. Um, but, again, okay, I managed to find one and. It was more of an instant buy than anything. I shouldn't, to be honest, I probably shouldn't have bought it really, because it doesn't, it's not technically not a console. Oh, it's packing peanuts everywhere. Oh, come on. Oh. Here we go. So, that's an FM Towns. Oof. Can you see that? FM Towns 2. Uh, so those who may or may not know, um, the Japanese computer. Um, the, the concise version of it called the FM Towns Multi. I have a Multi 1 and Multi 2 already. Uh, but this is the computer version. The problem with the Multi 1, uh, uh, so the Multis, is um, they don't have enough RAM to play some of the big games. So games like Super Street Fighter 2 and things like that won't run on them. So you need the FM Towns computer to play them. Is that everything in this box? I think so. Uh, let's check. Yeah, packing like peanuts everywhere. That's box number one. Uh, let's open this up. So yeah, I said it's quite difficult to hold of these box, but that's my jam, y'all. Find them in the box. I found them in the box. Oh, where's the fun? I guess computers on the base. Um. I don't remember the specs of these, but I guess it's around like 386 back in the day. It's like, oh, there we go. Yeah, um, if you guys want to share this stream somewhere, um, for whoever's interested in this, you may want to do that. Um, I don't know. If you would want to see me unbox the different towns. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. Does anyone know what these, one of these are? Does anyone have one of these? That's the question, I guess. I now have a lot of packing peanuts on the floor, but you know. I have to pick this up later. You guys want to see what's in the box. Da -da -da. Wow, look at this. Amazing. So this is the joy pad you get. It looks horrendous. Select and run. Really bad D pad. It's quite mushy. No. Fujitsu uh, Limited. Looks like a standard 9 pin D plug. Alright. Controller. So, yeah. This is the mouse. So, it's like a big puck with two buttons on top. It's a ball mouse. Okay, connect. Poor wi the Wi-Fi is right there. Sorry if you're having problems connecting. Um, because the Wi-Fi is rubbish. Apparently. I played the microwave. The microwave is on. My oven's on. So maybe that's disrupting the Wi-Fi. But yeah, that's the mouse for this crazy thing. Again, it's another 9-pin V-plug. Um, but yeah, I can't imagine myself using that much. Uh, happily. Uh, that's top of it. So, Japanese get all the cool stuff, to be honest. Um, it has a carrying handle, so I'm going to pull it out by its carrying handle. Ugh. There we go. Put this over here. You see that? That's the FM Towns. Um, yeah, the house really stopped quite cool. Oh, that just happened. 
Uh, Jim, yeah, you're correct. The other side is the monitor. Um, that just decided it wanted to fall off. So maybe I should try and put that back on. I guess that wasn't put on correctly. So yeah, that's the FM Towns. Um, like I said, this is the handle. Good carrying handle. Love the front of these, so this is beautiful. See that? So it's got a vertical loading CD-ROM. Oh yeah, check that action. You see that? Sweet. Uh, mouse, pad, phone's mic, blah de blah blah. Um, two floppy drives. Uh, just turn around the back. Oh, the side keeps falling off. Let's try and put it down without breaking it. So, what do you want now? Uh, yeah, the latches are. Oh, you got latches in. They haven't been latched in, that's why. Okay, while we're open, we can have a look inside. So, for those of you that know computers, uh, you may see there. Looks like a 386DX CPU. And um, that's some RAM. So, apparently, I told there's 2 megabytes of RAM on there. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. Let's see. Let's put the side back on and we'll see what we can do about making it work. Actually, I don't actually have any games for this right now. Um, I think I do. Uh, I just don't know where they are. I've got some FM Towns Marty games. Uh, maybe one, maybe? I don't know. Somewhere. Uh, so, yeah, clipping these down helps. Clipping these bits down help. Clipping these bits down helps. Okay, sometimes my English, she not so good. Uh, okay, so on the back, what have we got here? We got an old printer port, uh, an RS two three two C port. Uh, this crazy fifteen two row fifteen pin and RGB and external floppy drive, Japanese external power. Uh, so I could probably power the monitor and audio RCAs and obviously a Japanese power plug. Uh, FM Town. So this is the model number here. FM Towns, um, number two, D12, B for Bravo, uh, 0590, B200, that's the part number, alright, so yeah, as, as, uh, Jim said, the other box should be the monitor, which means in this box is the keyboard, let's see how ergonomic this keyboard is, it's fuzzy, Oh yeah, I guess maybe. So what RS-232C is, is that Scully, Dylan? I don't remember, I would have to look it up. All my old computer knowledge is kind of falling out of my head. And, you know, no point in storing all the information in my head if I don't need it. Ugh, knife, knife. So yeah, in the old days, obviously the keyboards were mechanical. All the keyboards were mechanical. Uh, we had done this chiclet stuff going on. Um, so let's take a look at this ergonomic mechanical keyboard that we gave you. And we already saw the mouse, and we saw how ergonomically terrific that was. Um, for those of you who play Megalomania. Do you want that phrase, ergonomically terrific? Making a mess, making a mess, yeah. All right. Let's open this up. Um, see, there's a, have a year on here. Don't see a year. Can anyone quickly look up what year the Evan Towns 2 is from? What year is this console computer from? Wow, look at this. So this is the keyboard. Comes with a, a DIN plug. Ooh, DIN plug. Focus, focus, no. Hello. Um, and this is the Japanese keyboard. Yeah, Andrew, so this is technically a computer. Um, and normally, yes, I don't collect computers normally. But again, because, well, listen to action. Um, because of uh, a fellow collector, Nicholas, 
I kind of panic bought, well, panic impulse bought this one. Uh, I have the console version of this, but the console version doesn't have enough RAM to play some of the later games. So you need the FM Town's uh, computer to have enough RAM to play them. Oh, that feels good. 989, Jim? Okay, so 989. So it's a few good three years old. Uh, so the FM Town 68 um, has a lot of games. Um, and lots of arcade, arcade conversions mainly. Lots of Japanese stuff. So arcades from the 90s. Early 90s. So in this box should be the monitor. And then, I got that completely wrong. Uh, I'm gonna move this out of the way for now. Looks a little small to be a monitor. Is it way like a monitor? Yeah, about that. Let's see if I can open some one go. Maybe more packing peanuts and stuff. What are even? What? Um, I don't have a list of games right, me, right now in front of me, but I'm sure you could look them up. Um, I don't know too much about this console, to be honest. Uh, again, because it's Japanese only, we didn't get much information on it at all, and it's probably really expensive. Yeah, this should be a CRT. Dylan. Um, yeah, and here is all kind of CRT goodness. But, um, yeah, because that's how you do things. You, you don't do things with um, RTDs. That would be the old school flavour. Oh, come on. I'll tell you, one thing for Rinky, I did package really, really well. So, yeah. Rinky, like other proxy companies, uh, I think Bai is one of them, and the other ones, they let you buy from Japanese auctions. Uh, yeah, so it's the second box open. And we've already seen the FM Towns. Uh, two computer, a uh, little tower, which I love, it's really cute. So this should be the monitor. I get this open correctly. There we go. Now to see more packing peanuts, put that knife down. Maybe if I pull the package out into the other box, that would be option. Oh. So I've lost track of how much money I spent at Greenfield uh, on your own But I've now got hold of a bunch of stuff that I would not be able to get hold of otherwise and at I guess a reasonable cost it's not cheap stuff but definitely cheaper than buying it directly from eBay jeez that's heavy uh, nothing else in there? good This is the monitor, looks like. Fortunately, the monitor is a box, the computer's a box, but the monitor isn't itself. But that's alright. Mainly off the console, but you do need a monitor to play it on, so it came with one too, which is bonus. So you can stack one down separately. Um, so, in my it's past experience getting monitors from Japan, it's tough because CRTs aren't shipped so well, either they're unpacking very well and they end up damaged when you turn up, and that can be very frustrating. I've had a few Super Fan from TVs turn up damaged. And they're not cheap at all. And to have them provide damage, it's not cool. Oh, oh, oh look at this thing.
14 inch monitor. All different towns in the colors, same colors. Got power, we got left right movement, brightness and contrast. Um, those are the feet. With the tilt and stuff, it's nice. And again, the Japanese 15 pin, two roll 15 pin plug rather than our usual VGA three roll 15 pin. So if I put this here, you can see that. Peanuts everywhere. Oh, it's been messed up. I actually need to put them on the other side. There we go. Alright, um, so I've got my power inverter down there. Let's plug it in and get some power and see if we can get the boot up. Um, again, it's been sitting in my spare room for a good few months, nearly a year actually. As I said, I bought this back in July. It probably arrived in, I don't know, August maybe, I don't know, something like that. So, it's a good half a year to say, purchase this and arrive it. But let's uh, open this up and see what the deal is. Yeah. Cheers, Robin. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to keep this to be honest. Because this isn't a console. Um, what I do is cut consoles and this is a computer, technically. Can you guys see that? Okay. If I drop the phone back, I'm going to back right now. Let's plug in the monitor. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any software for it right now. Uh, I might have a game somewhere, I just don't know where it is. Uh, it's probably stored in a box somewhere. In another box, in another box, in another room. Uh, yeah, so... We'll just have to boot up to its OS, I guess? I'm gonna assume I guess it runs maybe a form of DOS. So, uh, that's the RGB, uh, here's the power. There's a power in the back of the computer. So that's great. Uh, the power on the computer. I'm going to plug that into uh, a power inverter. Right here. So, yeah, I've got a hefty power inverter. Plug it in um, packing peanuts right now. So, this is a thousand watts maximum. Crazy joypad, although we probably won't need it right now because yeah, got no games for it right now. Power pad, pad and mouse. The crazy puck mouse. Yeah, the handle's great, huh? Yeah, awesome handles. Cheers, Dylan. I can't. Uh, I'll check the YouTube link out in a bit, but I'm sure other people watching can look at that. Let's plug that one in and uh, the keyboard. The keyboard. Love this keyboard. Um, lovely mechanical switches. Old school. And obviously the Japanese legends on the tech on the keys. Uh, the power unit is uh, just a power inverter to convert English power supply to Japanese power supply. So 240 volts to uh, 100 volts. Um, so I don't blow this thing up. Give it too many voltage. Uh, too many volts. Volts. Not the word is it quite. Um, yeah, too many volts. So, um, and that's a thousand watt one. So, it means I can play my stuff in. Um, yeah, Oliver, I do have Marty. I have, uh, I have the Marty one and the Marty two. How does it smell? That's a good question. How does it smell? You know what? The keyboard sounds, smells nothing. It literally just smells nothing. Um, I'm assuming when I turn it on, we'll get a lovely CRT smell as everything uh, charges up and hopefully it doesn't blow up on my face because, you know, no one wants that. What does this plug into? Huh? Does anyone see where the keyboard plugs into? Huh? Yeah. 
I'm not licking it. Look on the side here. The little reset button and the keyboard socket. Can you see that? I don't know. Keyboard. Oh. Plug that one in. There we go. So yeah, mouse keyboard. Mouse keyboard. You may have one of these back in Japan. Your tiny little apartment. I don't know. Um yeah, that's everything. So I just put a little slot here. Something here. Oh, maybe it's some life, maybe. Pry that open. Yeah, let's do that. Some expansion bay. Uh, it looks like a IDE hard drive. So uh, remove a hard drive in there. It looks like a two point five mil hard drive. Hard drive bay. That's cool. Let's turn the crazy guy on. So, time up down here. Chuck, chuck, chuck. One up, probably just the first. Uh, that's clicking up and down. The volume. Oh, there's a microphone in there, so you can actually hear lights are flashing up as I'm talking. As it's picking up the thing. FM Towns, boot up there. Can you see that? Let's move here. Brightness, contrast, there we go. Three, it's counting on here, and it's going to zero. Um, two. Oh, so this is for boot devices, and it has none. Um, two, uh, this is quite modern looking, quite. But yeah, I don't know if earlier, Wayne, that CD drive is probably my favorite part. Vertical loading CDs. It does have a clamp, so, well, it does have the ball bearings when you clamp things in, like in a console. So it just sits there, and clamps on there, and puts in there. So I think that's about as far as we're going to get. Um, it's booted up to an OS. I don't know if there's like a BIOS key to get into this. I don't know, but there we go. There's FM Towns. Uh, I picked up from Rinka in Japan. Um, I guess I got all some games for it and then test them out. What's the CPU? Um, it was a 386DX when we looked inside. Um, the panel on the side came off. Came off. I kept falling off because it wasn't clipped on. Um, on the side there, the chip is a A80386DX. Hyphen one six I think is L nine zero two zero nine seven zero corporate eight five eighty six. So there's that. Um, but yeah, I think that's as far as I could take this F Towns to. Um, it's a uh, F Towns two um, desktop computer. Which runs a bunch of wonderful games that the console doesn't run because it has more RAM. Oh, well, expandable RAM. But uh, for now, this is as far as I can go. Uh, put that that down, didn't it? Mm. There we go. Cool. Thanks everyone for watching. Um, you stay awesome. So I forgot um, earlier on when I unboxed it, I took apart, uh, well, I took out this sheet of paper, all these documents. Uh, there was a disc in there, and one says uh, FM Towns, it's in Japanese, and one's a black CDR. So let's whack that in the drive, and we'll boot that one up. Um, yeah. Oh, FM Towns. 
disc is spinning. We've got Canon's OS version 2.1 L50. That's a command line there. Uh, oh, CD drive, driver, as it were. Yeah, we've got boot up screen. A mouse. Yeah, that wonderful clunky mouse. Uh, and then, yeah, we've got an OS. Wonderful. Um, again, everything's in Japanese, so don't really know what I'm doing. There's some menus. Probably can use Google Translate on my phone to try and look at what some of the stuff is. Um, well. What do you reckon? What right, should we go click on? Click on this. Um, I don't have speakers plugged in, so you won't be able to hear anything. Um, I wonder if there's any demos or something we can turn on here. Home Studio. So there's a bunch of software there. Video editing software, maybe? Maximize, minimize. Yeah, I have no idea how to use this OS. Nope. Okay. It's closed, not closed. That one's closed. Yeah, if anyone actually knows how to use one of these, yeah, please let me know. The question is, what's on the floppy disk? Uh, let's put this in here. Um, so your yeah, floppies on old machines usually would die because of the um, the old drive it won't read. But it seems to have read a disk. There doesn't seem any files in it though. Oh, looks like blank. Try and get the speech. I'll just switch over the drives. Uh, from A to B. Uh, let's try that. So the floppy looks blank but on the disk. We've got a bunch of Japanese programs. Uh, again, I'll probably go through it with uh, Google Translate and work out what things are. Boot something. Looks like it's just rebooted the OS. So that's what that was. Alright, thanks. You stay awesome. Asobitech.